greetings in the awesome and wonderful name of Jesus. Family, once again, God is awesome. He has allowed you and I to get to this Monday, a Monday not deserved or promised, but yet we are here. Let's take a moment today to give your God, my God, some praise and some appreciation today. As we get into this April the 25th, this Monday, I want us to set the week or focus on the idea of I'm here and I'm thankful. I'm here and I'm thankful. Family and friends, I'm not sure exactly where you are in your life, but just know that we are here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. In this journey of life, friends and family, we deal with times and seasons. The question tonight can be easily put, what time are you dealing with right now? Are you in a time of struggle? You know, you've been for quite some time wrestling with some things and, you know, you got you overwhelmed and right now you just, you know, you feel like you're just having a hard time just trying to keep it together. Maybe you're in that time of frustration to where, you know, you're at the point where you want to throw your hands up. You're dealing with some family problems, personal issues. Maybe you're dealing with some things around the job, or maybe this can just be family and friends, something that, that you're just trying to, you know, get to a better place in. And every time you put one foot forward, it seems like you just keep getting things put in your way. Maybe this is a time of faith. You're dealing with some unknowns. You're not sure, you know, how to approach some things, or maybe this is new for you in your spiritual journey. And because you are dealing with some things that um, you have been trying to, to wrap your head around. And this could be a time, family and friends, where God is saying, I just need you to trust me right now. I need you to continue to rely on me. So maybe you're in this time or maybe you can just be in a good place, right? You know, you, you're at peace with God. You know, overall, everything's okay. It's not perfect, but overall, you're good. One of the things I like that Paul teaches us in Philippians chapter 4, and starting at verse number 11, I'll be reading from the King James here tonight. Paul writes this in Philippians 4, verse 11. He says, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. You know, I like how Paul, you know, how he frames that, because Basically, what Paul is saying, family, he's saying that, you know, I have learned in this life, God, I'm good. You know, I, I've learned the ability, no matter what stage I am in or where I'm at in my daily routine or, you know, how things are going. You know, I have learned to be able to pick up that insight that, hey, there's a blessing around the corner or, you know, I look at the things that God puts in my life right now and I can hang my hat on those things. Why? Because God continues to provide. Right. Um, then, he, you know, I like the word he uses content that I'm satisfied. You know, uh, I have more than enough. I don't I don't need anything else. Right. Uh, it's right on time and it's right where God has placed it. It's in the right place. Um, watch what he says here in verse number 12. He says, I know how to be but a base. I know how to be low, right? And I know how uh, to abound. I, I know how to handle and everything is going really well, right, family? Then he says, everywhere and in all things, I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I'm not sure, family, where you are right now in your life. But you know and I know there are some things that you can look at in your life right now that can tell you that God is not perfect, but I'm good. Father, this thing that I'm dealing with, it, it, it has me up at night and, you know, and I'm, I'm sometimes I don't I'm toss and turn. I'm weary. I'm stressed out. But at the end of the day. Father, I'm glad you got me here. I can learn something in this. God, I am good. Father, you know, I, I'm. this is new for my faith, right? And, and my faith right now is at a fever pitch. I, I'm, I'm at the brink, you know. I'm, 
I'm at the point where I don't know where I'm coming or going, but you know what, God, I'm glad that you have me in this place right now because this is teaching me that I can endure. I am resilient. I, I got I got some fight in me, and I know that I, I'm able to overcome. Why? Because you're showing me different places I can be in my faith right now. God, I am good. I need you to tell yourself today on this Monday, April the 25th, that Lord, no matter where you have me, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be okay. Why? I belong to you. I'm your child. And as long as you're on my side, Lord, leading the way, fighting for me, as long as you and I, because we know me and you, God, are majority, I'm going to be all right. You can tell people today, family, that yeah, I may not where I be where I prefer to be, but, but the Lord has me in a good place. God, I am good. Right now, I may not be in the best job or the best profession. Maybe I didn't get that promotion, but guess what? God, I'm still good. Maybe my children right now are not being what they need to be. Maybe I'm in the struggle right now with, with my parenting right now, and I'm facing some hurdles. But you know what, God? I'm glad you got me here. Why? Because, Lord God, I am good. Maybe you're dealing with some personal things you're trying to overcome, some challenges you're trying to leap over, but yet you seem like that every time you try to get to those certain places, you feel like there ain't no traction there. But you tell God, say, God, you know what? I'm learning right now. I see what you're doing. I know how you're trying to build me up. I am good. So tell me tonight, I want you to know that whatever you are dealing with, whatever you are facing, right? There's always something that you can see in your life. There's something that you can see right now in your journey that what God will show you that overall, no matter what, if you whether you see it or not, whether it's light at the end of the tunnel, whether there's an unknown there, or maybe right now, even if you don't think that God's moving, understand, family, he's always working. And you need to know that he's always good. Have a blessed Monday and have a blessed week.